everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is Sinka you're welcome back to our hot subscriber thank you thank you for the love you're showing me on this channel I truly appreciate and to the new subscriber you are all welcome so in today's class we're going to be making this beautiful sleeve it was sent to me a long time ago today I'm going to be making a tutorial on it so for this tutorial you'll be needing a uh, fishing line this is fishing line you'll be needing fishing line for the tutorial and then you'll be needing organza fabric organza fabric and of course you need to cut out your off shoulder dress or top whichever one you want to attach it to you have to cut it all right so i'll show you what and what you need to do now to achieve this sleeve all right so for this sleeve you'll be cutting the base sleeve that is the base that we, you're going to be attaching the organza on top so i'll show you how to go about that one and also show you how you can achieve the ruffle so let's get started all right so this is an off shoulder blouse that i already cut out because this is just a simple off shoulder blouse that i can use just use it to illustrate this tie for us all right this is the neck part and then this is the armhole part this is the armhole part this is the neckline let me open it so that you can see it better So you can see it. This is the ham hole and this is the neckline. So this is what I will be using to illustrate the sleeve for us. All right. So we need to cut the base of the sleeve. So in order for us to cut the base, to cut the base of the sleeve, you are going to be folding fabric like this into four, like this. But if you are, if if you are going to be cutting both the sleeve together, you fold it into eight. You fold into eight. All right you fold it into eight pieces you can see the fabric is folded into eight into eight pieces so that you can cut both sleeves together if you're doing two this part is on fold and here is open all right this upper part is on fold the next thing i'm going to do now is to measure from this edge here i'm going to measure four and a half inches inward If it's somebody that is having a very broad shoulder, you can use five. So it's between four and a half and five. If you have not watched my whole shoulder tutorial, please you need to watch that video because I already explained all these things inside that video. All right. So from this part, you measure four and a half inches inward like this. Then you will now place the ham hole. Place the ham hole of this on top of this line. Can you see? Place it on top of this mark that you made and then trace out the shape of the ham hole. The sleeve is not going to be a long sleeve, it's just a short sleeve. Just a short sleeve. So you can just measure, for this particular style, you can just measure four inches. Can you see? You measure four inches like this. Can you see the way it is now? So from here, just connect it back like this. Then you cut it out. So this is the off shoulder sleeve. So it's just going to be like this. Can you see? It's just going to be like this. So the next thing you want to do now is for you to take this sleeve. You know, if you open it up now, you have two pieces. This is one and then this is the second one. So fold it like this. You fold it like this, then you take your to your sewing machine, you sew the down part of it, and then you turn it to the right side. You do the same thing to the two of them. So I'll just go and do that now, and then I'll come back. All right, so I've stitched the bottom part of the sleeve. I've stitched the bottom part of the sleeve, so just turn it to the right side. So if you turn it to the right side now, this is what you have. All right, so the next thing you need to do is for you to mark your seam allowance here. So from the head, just mark half inch. From the head here, just mark half inch and then half inch here. That's going to be your seam allowance for joining it together with the body. So 
So this is it. So the next thing you need to do now is to cut out the organza that you're going to be placing on top of this. This is very, the sleeve, the sleeve is very, very simple. So once you cut out this, this is the base of the sleeve. You can decide how you want your, uh, the lines that you want your flounce to follow. You can just, you can decide to place two lines here, or you can decide to make it vertically like this. You can decide any one you want. So for the organza, you're going to be cutting a very long strip. The width is going to be eight inches. The width is going to be eight inches. The width is going to be 8 inches and then the length can be as long as you want it because you will want maximum fullness so the width is the width is 8 inches so i'm just going to say it organza is easy to tear so you can just tear it so you cut as as long as you require but i'm just going to be working with this if i measure the length of this now is three yards in length but the width is 8 inches the width is eight inches. So what you need to do now is for you to take this one to the sewing machine and then you weave, you are going to weave it with your fishing line. You weave the hedges with your fishing line. The two hedges, you weave it with your fishing line. You weave the edges with your fishing line. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that on the weaving machine. Don't forget the width here is just eight inches. So please, when you're making yours, ensure you use a machine thread on your weaving machine. You can see I'm using white hair now. I'm supposed to use black. I'm supposed to use black, use black thread, but because I want us to see the effect very well, I'm going to be using white so that we can see it more. So I'm going to be using white. All right, so what you will do, first off, you lift the machine, the weaving machine foot. You lift it up and then you place your ganza, the edge of your ganza. You place it underneath the foot. Then you will also insert, you also insert your fishing line. This is my fishing line. So you will insert your fishing line. As you place the, uh, the edge of your ganza inside the foot like this, you also insert your fishing line inside at the same time. Can you see like that? Then the next thing now is for you to start weaving. So you are going to be weaving it with your fishing line. Can you see? It's already forming spiral. As you can see, I've weaved both the up and down. You can see I've weaved the both side here and here. I've weaved the two sides. So the next thing you're going to be doing now is to run a gather stitch at the center, at the center of this piece. You run your gather stitch and pull your gather so that you can now sew it directly on this. So the next thing now is to run a gather stitch at the center. Just turn the dial of your machine to the longest stitch and run a gathering stitch at the middle so that by the time you're done, you pull your gather. Can you see? Pull your gather. So this is that under sleeve. So the next thing you'll do 
is to first mark your seam allowance so that when you are sewing, you will not sew beyond your seam allowance. The seam allowance is half inch on both sides. So the next thing now you make a straight line and then you are going to be stitching this after gathering. Just stitch, stitch together on this. Make two straight lines like this. Up and down and then you are going to stitch this on top of this. You can decide to pull the gather, you know. I've pulled the gather, you see how it is. Or you can decide to do a pleat. Anyone that is convenient for you. If it's a gather, if it's a pleat, anyone that is easy for you. Both will be just fine. So anyone that is convenient for you. Alright, so <clears throat> I'm done pulling my gather. So the next thing now is to attach it to the base of the sleeve. Make sure it's not entering inside your seam allowance. You know we already rolled half inch for our seam allowance. So you start from that point. So one sleeve is done, you repeat the same thing to the second sleeve. The next thing you are going to be doing now is to attach the sleeve to the body. So just look for your sleeve, you can see our sleeve here. And you see, just attach it to the sleeve. you see then you also attach the second side so you attach the second side also 